an exit at Portman Road. John Nolan's Ipswich Town career is over. Joined in 2018, departs in 2022. Uh, contract mutually terminated, Stu. It's the, uh, it's the end of a career that had promise, but but ultimately has had its issues as well. It's been a while since we've had a, a new member of Mutual Termination FC. It felt like that squad was filling up quite rapidly for, for a time. Um, yeah, my first instinct, my first reaction is it's a real shame that it never worked out for John Nolan at Ipswich Town. I know people will, his legacy probably will be that he was part of the, the disastrous Paul Hurst transfer window that ultimately led to relegation. But I thought towards the back end of that championship campaign, we started to see what John Nolan was all about. There was a game at West Brom that sticks in my mind where he scored an Ipswich dominated possession. They drew 1-1 and, and he had during that little February, March period, he was starting to look good. But it's just not happened for him in League One. And, and ultimately, it's injuries that have done for him. It's, uh, it's been more than a year now since he's uh, last played a competitive game. Yep, and that's that's why uh, that's why this this has come at this at this point. I, I would agree with you though. I think at, at various different points along the way of John Nolan's Ipswich Town career, if you if you kind of polled people uh, which of those Paul Hurst signings they thought would actually turn out to be something that would really add something to town over a number of years, I think John Nolan would have come out on top of the vast majority of of those polls obviously that we're talking Toto and Siala who he arrived with in a in a 2 million pound deal Caden Caden Jackson Janoid Anassian uh, Ellis Harrison Guion Edwards um John Nolan would have come out at the top of those he, he what I liked about him is that he had some tenacity sometimes a little bit misplaced would would kind of turn into the rash but in terms of on the ball, he was very neat and tidy, a really nice tight turning circle that he could kind of get out of difficult areas. And once he was kind of coaxed on a little bit and was playing in a team that was playing a little bit more on the front foot, he was able to get into the box and and and, and score some goals as we'd kind of seen him do at Shrewsbury. So there's def- there was definitely a football player in there. But when you've when you've been sidelined for an entire year through a we're not talking like leg break territory here it's been niggle it's been funny injuries along the way different injuries knees calves all sorts of different things that have just not allowed him to play football um and and he's not been a factor for for Paul Cook he he, he did that first injury um for Paul on the first day that Paul Cook had been appointed um and obviously then didn't play under Cook and and clearly hasn't played under Kieran McKenna either so um a shame but I think it's probably best for for everybody, particularly for John, actually, that this um, that this happens now. Yeah, you talked about the the players that arrived under Hurst. He was the one that cost the most money. It was a two million pound double deal for him and Toto Enciala that came late in that transfer window to be reunited with with Paul Hurst from Shrewsbury. And but the breakdown of that deal was was slanted more towards Nolan. We believe it was about one point two five for for Nolan. So. You never know if he would have been one of a couple of players that had stepped up from from below and been integrated with the likes of Waghorn and Webster. And if the whole lot hadn't have gone, it, it might have been different for one or two of those those players who were asked to to jump up. But um, yeah, first season in League One, he was probably a victim of that sort of squad rotation under Paul Lambert. I had a little look back. He never started more than three games in a row that season. So I think that's always hard to really judge a play when they don't get those those runs in the side. Second season, post-COVID, August, he was right up there to be sort of player of the month, if you remember. He scored a few goals in, in that opening month. I think him and Dazelle were the, the players that were really shining early on. And then, and then things sort of fell apart, really. You talked about the rash side of him. A couple of moments that I'll remember from John Nolan was one, the, the horrendously late tackle that sparked the... Uh, Touchline brawl, infamous touchline yeah. brawl at Carrow Road. Yeah, that was a that was a classic John Nolan tackle, uh, a bit Paul Scholes esque, and uh, also his silly, silly red card late on at, at Lincoln. He just got himself back in in the game, and that was a bit of a needless red, I think, in the 90th minute there, and that just kind of added to his stop-start nature of his Ipswich Town career, even before the uh, 
even before the injury that's kept him out for so long, there there were moments, wasn't there, that sort of um, put him on the back foot. I think there obviously there was a time where he was exiled to the under twenty threes with with Caden Jackson. Paul Lambert had sort of referred to him uh, not wanting to travel up to Crew to be the nineteenth man. He would rather stay at home with his uh, his young family. I think he'd just become a father at that side at that time and. Um, yeah, and here, here we are a year later. He's, he's not played again, and and uh, that's all she wrote because he's out of contract in, in the summer. Um, he's just got himself back to fitness. It's not going to happen for him here at Ipswich Town, that's clear. But he won't be short of a few mm. suitors, will he, I think, once the window shuts. To, once the window shuts, And uh, mm. I'm sure someone will see him as a good free agent signing. Yeah, before we, we move on to what might be next for him, you've chucked a couple of John Nolan memories in there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw one in as well. Um I'm going to take you back to, I think it was Bristol Rovers when this was in an age where uh, the COVID age where uh, the two teams couldn't share the same kind of dressing room area and Ipswich needed to shower a different uh, in a different point of the ground. And there's this, I've got this vivid memory of all of the Ipswich players in their pants and towels <laughs> dashing, dashing across the pitch. But John Nolan did it with the biggest ice pack I've ever seen uh, on his groin, I believe, following following that game um very sheepishly walking across across the pitch but um he's a player that I'll, I'll look at and and feel disappointed that it's not worked out for him as it could have done but as you say i don't think this is the last we will see of 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 john nolan i think there's every chance we could see him lining up against ipswich um at some point in the next in the next uh, year, especially if Town remain in League One for for next season, um, does the is this screaming back to the northwest for you? Do you think in the same manner as Toto and Siala? Well, they <laughs> football friends, friends reunited up at, at Fleetwood. They played together at uh, Grimsby. Did they play together there? Yeah. They certainly did at Shrewsbury, and then they followed followed uh, each other to Ipswich. Maybe. Maybe he'll, he'll go back up to the northwest, be nearer to, to Liverpool, be with his old pal Toto again. I, I don't know. Um, Colchester, everyone else seems to go there. I think uh, League Two would be um, bottom end of League Two would, would be too big a drop for him. But he has got the injury question mark hanging over him. Um, Shrewsbury, maybe a reunion there. Who knows? Um, I think there'll be a, there'll be a number of clubs that will, would be interested in in taking John Nolan on a, on a free transfer. Maybe I could see sort of a deal to the end of the season, almost a prove prove your fitness type of type of deal somewhere. So um, as always with these players that leave, we, we wish them well. But um, yeah, it's just not, not quite worked out for John Nolan, has it? And that's it for John Nolan then. 70 Ipswich Town appearances, 10 goals in 70 games isn't isn't too bad for for uh, for that um that position on the field. So John Nolan's Ipswich Town career has come to an end.